Hello, welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. Before we start, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. My handle is at Beth Roars and I hold loads of votes on my Instagram so you guys can vote on who I react to. Also, please do check out my website, BethRoars.com, where you can book a singing lesson from me. And last but not least, please do head over to my Patreon, which is Patreon.com slash Beth Roars, where you can get some more exclusive content. You can get early access to my podcast and you can also find out a little a bit more about my scholarship fund for aspiring artists. Now this guy founded Andalou Rock which is a cross between Turkish folk music and rock so I'm super excited to hear a little bit more of him. Ooh. Nice wellies. So expressive with his hands. Yaz dostum, selam almayana yiğit denir mi? Yaz dostum, altı üstü beş metrelik bez için. I don't know anything about Turkish folk music. I have to put it out there. However, I love all these hand movements. Is that something that's just him? Is that something that's like a Turkish folk thing? I don't know. I, I so expressive. <laughs> it's so hypnotic. <laughs> I love how you get this combination of like Turkish and Arabic scales, which you don't hear in Western music at all, but it is combined with that real 70s funky rock vibe. I love that. It's got like deep purple vibes. I mean, it is exactly what it says on the tin, isn't it? I feel like he's going to be a magician. Like he's going to be like... I have a bunch of flowers in my sleeve. What I really love about his tone is that it's so full and so warm. So here, this is my vocal coach head coming on. It is... There's no like leakage of air. So often we'll get this breathy sound. Think of someone like Billie Eilish who's got that breathy, breathy tone, which is really popular right now. However, here he's getting full chord closure, which gives him that resonant tone. It feels like, mmm, like a cuddle. Now you can find that by doing like a, uh, uh. It's all about how you attack a note. Now at first you may have to do a little glossal like this, uh, 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 to get onto it. Uh, and then eventually, uh, you will get the breath and the sound at the same time. But sometimes we need a little cue to help us find that chord closure because it's so easy to be ah and put a bit too much breath through. It's almost speech-like. I'll talk about this in a minute. So you can hear that it's almost like speaking and this is a mistake that a lot of people do when they sing. They think that they have to do something different when they sing, that it has to be more, that you have to put more breath through, you have to put more effort in. But actually, we often have big, resonant, warm voices when we speak and it's just an extension of this speaking voice. So when you are singing and if you are struggling with getting tone, think about 
how you would place it if you were just saying it. And think about all these notes that we can use in our speaking voice. We can go up and down and those, that's fine. That's the correct technique. Your body knows how to do that technique. I would love someone to explain all these movements and what he's doing. I'm sure it's got something to do with the lyrics that I don't understand. I love his hat. I just need to know what's going on. It's so bizarre when you don't have a clue. so like danceable as well it's probably really sad and i have no idea i love how he's doing a walking fade out goodbye i have to admit i have no idea what was going on in that i know so little about turkish folk music i'm sure there's some really profound things in that in his movements and in the style that i'm completely missing so i would love your comments tell me all about it i want to learn thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did please do like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye